So in this video we're going to learn how to use a soil texture diagram or it's called a soil triangle to determine the amount of sand, silt, and clay in a soil sample. So at the bottom of this sheet we have a table. The table has the percent of each sand, silt, and clay, the texture name, and then the properties of that clay. Um, which are dependent on the different types of minerals that it has. So for the first example, we have 75% sand, 10% silt, and 15% clay. Now remember, if you add sand, silt, and clay, it makes loam. So it makes sense that that would be sandy loam. But you could figure this out by going, here's the percent sand. So there's 75% of that. So here's 100%, here's 70, here's 80, and there are two lines. There's one that goes on the left, and there's one that goes on the right. So you're going to, to figure out 75, you're going to go in between 70 and 80, and you're going to go towards the left. So in between 70 and 80 is about right here, and you will just put a little, you can use a highlighter if you'd like, you're going to go in between the lines that are 70 and 80, 70 and 80. Then you're going to go figure out where's 10% silt. So you'll find the silt line, move the paper. So now you see that's 10% silt. So anywhere along this line is 10%, 20%, 30%. So you're always going to look at the line on the left. Okay. So we're looking for 10% silt. So we'll take our highlighter and we're going to highlight 10% silt. And where these two lines intersect, that is, should be where your clay is. So if we go to clay, you want to turn it to the clay side. All of this is 10%, 20%, etc. So it looks like between 10 and 20 is 15 percent, it's 15 percent clay. And indeed, that was 15 percent clay. So that's where we got sandy loam here. So let's do the second one together. We've got 10 percent sand, 83 percent silt, and 7 percent clay. So we're going to go to the sand. We're going to go find 10 percent sand. So it's going to be somewhere, and I might use a different color you can start off with a few different color um, highlighters. Remember I told you to go the line on the left, not the right. Now we're going to go to 83% silt. So you can turn it to the silt side. And you will find the 83. Here's 70, here's 80, here's 90. And you're going to go to the left. So 83 is probably closer, a little bit closer to 80. Okay, and so far we could figure out just based on those two that it's silt, but let's double check. 7% clay, so we're going to go to the clay part, face it towards you to where this line is towards you, and we're going to go to Here's 10, here's 5, so we're going to go to 7. So 7 would be about probably between 10 and 5. So we're going to just kind of make a line here. And indeed, boom, we're going to write silt here. <coughs> okay, so if you use the, if you look at this um, table here, silt, has medium nutrient holding capacity. It filters water pretty good. It can hold water pretty well. Aeration is the amount of pore space, so it has pretty decent pore space, and it's moderately easy to work with. So I would put properties, under properties, pretty good all around. So now let's <coughs> look at this third example, C. 
42% sand, we're not sure how much silt, 37% clay. So to figure out the, num the amount of silt, the whole thing has to add up to 100. So we'll add these two together, 42 plus 37 is 79. 100% minus 79, so that's 21% silt. So let's start with the sand, 42% sand, and I might use a blue one this time. So here's sand, 42% sand. So 40, 50, and remember I'm always looking at the line on the left. So 42 is going to be fairly close, somewhere along that line. 21% silt, so I'm going to go over to the silt and go to 20. Always look at the line on the left, there's 20, there's 30, so 21 is probably going to be close, really close to 20. And I could mark this right here, and it would be classified as a clay loam, but before I totally um, feel comfortable with that, I'm going to double check to make sure my clay matches up to 37%. I'm going to situate it so clay is directly in front of me, and then I'm going to find here's 30, here's 40, and I'm looking at the lines on the left. So 35 is probably in the middle, so 37 would be about right here. And so where all three of those intersect would be a clay loam. And clay is pretty good because it's negative and nutrients, a lot of the nutrients are positive. It's good uh, nutrient re retention, and because it is a loam, it has good porosity and permeability is equally as good, so it's probably very workable as well. So for D, if you want to continue listening to this, um, then you can, I'll walk you through one or two more. Otherwise, you can go to the end of the video and I will show you uh, the answer key. So for D, we're going to have to figure out, again, 52 and 27 is 100, or is 79, and 100 minus 79 would be 21% sand. So 21% sand, um, we'll start at the chart, 21, and I'm just going to do it in this pen here. So 21% sand would be somewhere around in here. Remember, you're going to go not the right line, but the one that goes to the left. So 21% sand. How much silt? 52% uh, silt. So I'm going to get over to the silt, have that right in front of me. Here's 50, here's 60, so 52 is going to be again on the left. It's going to be between this line and this line. So 52, it's going to be somewhere in 52, might be somewhere kind of on that line. Let's do, let's figure out how much clay there is. 27% clay, so I'm going to go back to the clay here. Have that right in front of me. I'm looking for 27%. So here's 20, here's 30, here's 25, so 27 would be somewhere in the middle here, and I'm going to go all the way up. So it's going to be closer to that side, and that is a silt loam. And silt loam is probably pretty good all around. Really what's not um, good in terms of workability is clay, not good in terms of permeability is clay, because the pore, pore space would be so small. And sand would have high permeability because of the large grains and lar large pore spaces between the grains. Okay, um, I'll do one more E. 
So with E, you've got 35 and 50 is 85, so you've got 15% sand. So you're going to go sand, here's 20, here's 10, so you're going to go 15, and it's going to be somewhere in the middle here. So I'm just going to draw a line, kind of somewhat goes through the middle there. Then I have 35% silt. I'm just going to go over to silt. 20, 35, and this would be it right here. So we would call that a clay. And if you want to double check to make sure that it's 50% clay, then here's the clay, here's clay, here's the 50, so it would be about right, right there. All right, so you should have, in the end, this would be your results. Thank you.